just a, a flash in the pan. So I need to see them come out of the blocks really swinging here. And Light looks like he's just going to position himself. Able does pop the ghost, does flash away as well. But now he's without summoners and without a support. Great move here. They haven't even taken turret aggro. Oh my god, Wavo! You can't do that, man. This is a map. Not a cubes on the turret. He's dead. I mean, this is... Now, now they're just transferring it. I, I, as much as I was like, how do you get back into this OMG? How do you do this? How do you do that? If Weibo's playing this clean with this kind of an advantage, I just don't know how you get back. Yeah, <laughs> big teleport. issue for him. Teleport in. Angel is going to try and maybe burn down Xiaohu, but he just can't do it. And that is five to nothing and two turrets at 11 minutes. Ladies and gents and people of all the identifications, this is... Still healing. He is still shielding. He will finally go down. And that is a good start for OMG, but they need a lot more. Oh, gosh. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, Shohu's had a bit of a bad split so far. He's had a couple yep. of moments like this where he's walked into the wrong angle. Do you know? Um, I don't think he's having to try to troll and miss all of his abilities like he did there, but now he has the rest of his team to come in. So ZDZ don't won't be going down despite missing a couple of a key abilities. Exactly how they push again. They're going to put down the Rift Herald at 18 minutes to crack open this base. They could keep going. If they get more kills, Nymera, this could be Whoa! a sub 20 minute game. And that's what they're going to look for. They've got damage, but it doesn't do anything. It's five members of this team and Baron for Taboo, special guest. And ZDZ, oh, he two, wants three. more. He wants a little bit of a Q3 to go in. The arrow lands onto the backside, which means that Angel can't even really help his team. They're throwing everything in the kitchen sink onto everything. They're going in. They want the kills. The quickness comes in for PB God to try and do something, but that something is not a lot, if I'm being totally honest. They will just try and deal with as much as they can, but in 24 minutes, Weibo absolutely destroy omg quick recovery needed though to go into game two able pp god feels like they're in a jules see if they get anything bot side those who quickly shift down there level two does get hit by the Aphelios, who's exhausted he flashes away they flash back on top of them he will not survive omg get themselves first blood and a much better start to this game ah chris couldn't get himself level two light managed to get an extra gets burnt by pp god night is good Try and tick down Xiao Hao and he goes down as Angel joins into the fray. They gotta get the flash out of Xiao Hu as well, who gets jumps back on by Xiao Fang, who takes over the effigy of his dead jungler. And everyone backs away. So OMG be able to get out of this one. Should be pretty easily dispatched. And they should be able to donate that one over to ZDZ. Takes a little while to die, but he dies nonetheless. However, won't stop Xiao Fang being able to get himself some of these grubs. He's gonna be able to get all three. I imagine so, ZDZ. Yes, if he can. He doesn't have the ghost activate out anyway. Um, ZDZ, importantly for him, doesn't have to use the all out. He gets to hold that one. He can recall, spend the gold if he wants, teleport back out onto the map. But problem is, um, if you're stood up here doing something on top side, you're not able to defend light on bot side. Great ultimate from Xiao Hao to try and make sure he doesn't go down. And they do get the kill down onto the Nautilus. They get Xiao Hao out as well. This is a great fight start for Weibo as the both top laners are still split, exchanging blows around the middle of the uh, river on the bot side. Crescent guard. Dragon, Xiao Fang will get spotted out here. So maybe Xiao Hao might go for a little bit of a cheeky steal. It's going to be a straight up smite fight between the two junglers. And it will be won out here by OMG. Xiao Fang might have to use he his heartbreaker. Flash. No, he doesn't have a heartbreaker or a flash. So he can't get out. So Weibo starting to pick up the pace a little bit here saying look we're happy with the way things are right now flash forward with the hook not going to be land onto the priority target light with his first item seeing if he can do something but Xiao Hu gets taken out immediately able flashing away from the Q3 PP God gets jumped on and taken out but is that really the primary target I don't think so Xiao Hu will go down triple kill for Q and OMG strike right back Weibo blasted into pixels as they take a fight they can't. It's fantastic though. Chris is the target. He won't get hit by the true shot barrage, but Xiao Hu will. Chris has to get out of the here as quick as he can. Xiao Hao just tells ADZ, leave. There's no point. We're not going to be able to fight this. And they do have to back themselves away. Able will get a little bit of damage off the backside of it. It might want a little bit more. They are seeing if they can get more and more of this kind of damage down onto this Afel or excuse me, onto this Cassante. The Aphelios nowhere to be seen, but this is still a Cassante. You have to be so careful of diving him. They will trade it back though, one for one. I don't know if that's 100% worth there for OMG, but they may just try and turn and burn onto Q, but Xiaohu almost going down. He's ticking to the Deandres and he will drop. 
but cube has now been caught out and he is the next target but again this is the perfect udir situation he is the tank he wants to be soaking up all this damage but oh, they turned around light it's just burning through everybody they have to back away they have to reset just a little bit to try and make sure he can survive and that was a little bit dodgy there it's still a one fight from omg but oh lord that aphelios was getting big oh gosh he was like a hundred units short of getting a three person if that had come through with a follow-up order attack something really magical could have happened and shahu Damn. goodbye yeah shahu you mentioned a little earlier he is not having a good time right now this season it really does feel like we are it's himself it's he he's already dead and you're 3v5 now when your face is being destroyed even with light having the rifle turrets for extended range to try and poke out it's just not enough he doesn't have the stats he's not had the stats the entirety of this game and Weibo, so often they've just taking down absolutely everything able, oh, able. What? goes in like crazy and they get him taken out that's a one for one trade light can free hit because there's no threat onto him now they need to try and take out the viego but he's just chasing back so effectively cube will be taken as a lamb to the slaughter and all of a sudden Weibo off of one mistake from Abel, they find a lifeline. It's not a life, it's not a way back into this game just yet, but it's better than nothing. But what did Abel just do? He just jumps forward into absolute one last shot. You have one last shot, Shao Hao separated from the rest of his team. He will go down, you would imagine, fairly quickly, although just about keeping himself alive, but now they've used a lot of the big ultimates. You getting any more of the damage goes all out but will be taken out you would imagine Abel getting them down there with the last bit of the that little bit of the arcane ship and I just don't think light's got much more for it they jump straight in on the Xiao Hu who will fall down double kill coming in here for Xiao Fang and that is going to send us to a third game in our second series doesn't matter they find themselves in a pretty familiar situation for them as well where it feels like the rest of the map is kind of falling apart you're looking for lights who's gonna come off you know who's gonna be in playoffs who's not gonna be in playoffs these are two teams that aren't so strong to make up for it. Yeah, they're going to put all four members of everyone who wasn't the Maokai up to that top side. Now Xiaohu is caught underneath the turret here, and they're going to be able to juggle that aggro so perfectly. The best who comes in and says, we are getting this kill, regardless of what this Kabil does. Tower Dive traded for Tower Dive a minute or two later. Close run stuff if Xiaohu had got locked up with the Hextech Ultimatum just a little closer. He wouldn't have been able to drop that tower aggro. It still manages to get out. And it's a kill. Back. Jumped on right now by the side of PP God, who's trying to make a nuisance of himself, and they will take down ZDZ at the end of it all. So OMG building that momentum, pushing forward, knowing that they can get a bit more angles on things and just having more resources available to them. Yeah. CC just yet, they're trying to still burn down on top of light, but he's got no way out. He pops the explosive, uh, explosive ult, but that's about it. I mean, this is just Weibo making mistake after mistake and it's ultimate from Crisp as well and they'll get a kill immediately jumping straight on the Shao Fang but he has the ultimate to keep himself alive Cube actually goes back in with his uh, into the fight. long shot because he knows he can go and take this fight they've got the damage they've got the health bars and they've got all the kills Oh. Shadow over the top. The buy has gone down. Cube will follow as well. It's a one for one trade, but you can see the health bars right now on the side of Weibo are not feeling good. And they may look for a little bit more. They've got a little bit of tank stats to deal with as Xiao Fang goes underneath the tower in the Kassan. To play a little bit okay. risky, and as we come back to live, Angel gets caught out. That's very lucky, in my opinion, that that is not with a Baron Timer on the board. Absolutely. And it's also lucky that Cube is also pushing on the bot side as well, so at least. Stop. Off by Angel and says, Look, I have a global too. And uh, jumps in and absolutely takes him out there. Of course, it's him. Of, of course, course, it's Chahu yeah. that ends up eating it from that too. Because we were just saying, Hey, gotta be careful of these next respawn timers. Everyone's got globals, people have teleports, gotta be really careful but between the sticks right now. They don't really have a good option to go to retreat. I mean, Light's already taken a huge chunk and his life is forfeit. Chris tries to flash in with the quickness, but they're so disconnected from Weibo. Look at the cohesion from OMG. They know who their target is. They're ignoring ZDZ. You're not a priority. We don't care about you because we have bigger fish to fry. Weibo just don't have a safe place to stand. OMG's composition, when they're ahead, when they get vision control or wave control, there is nowhere that they can't hunt you. They're able to get the damage down. Good flick back there from Xiao, who is able, gets taken out. But now here comes Cube on the Camille. The Tristana's dead. The Talia's gone as well. Where is your damage, Weibo? I'll tell you where it is. 
dead in the gray screen with nothing left to say about it. Crisp getting run down here by Angel, who's going the long way around the Nexus to make sure he can't go back and heal. Camille's ending the game. OMG's PB God and Shoutbanger trying to take a little bit of a 2v2 right now. <laughs> honor, honor rule, lads, honor rule. Only 2v2s allowed. CDZ will fall down. The Rakan goes down as well. Shoutbang or Shout Who getting chased down by Shoutbang and will be killed off. That's OMG with the 2 1, and that's going to be a 4 and 4 scoreline. Well, they might have to back off because God the way they decided, the replays <laughs> happened, the resets happened just in time. So it will be Dragon and a boatload of cash over to the side of OMG, plus Honorary own everything. Everything is gone, and now you have nothing left. Even putting Xiao Hao right up on top of Xiao Bang, and they still can't kill him. This is going to be an easy cleanup, you would imagine, for Cube, Abel, and Angel to just make sure they get absolutely everything. The CC down on the ZDZ. You're not going anywhere, son. We'll go all Angel's out. Angel's chasing still. Bang. Still trying to look for a little bit more, but I mean, Angel still pushing on the backside of this. OMG, really just hitting home that look, you can use absolutely everything in a perfect engage, and it still doesn't matter. Clean ace, triple kill for Abel, and OMG, 2 1, 4 4, 0 plus minus game score. And I have missed this team. Who else out there has missed some of the innovation? Yeah, we've seen the Camille before, we've seen the TF, we've seen the Senna Maokai, but the As soon as the early game went the way of OMG, when you have got this scaling Senna and Maokai just kind of constantly